I was just pulling off the multi force here. I'm doing this one. What? Which one are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, we're gonna be racing. Hunter Alden. They're like, hey, are you Brian? I'm like, golly, that guy is taking over YouTube. Everybody asks, am I Brian? And I'm like, no, I'm Blake. But they uh, watched the channel. I wanted to give them a shout out. This is like, this is the hustle, man. You got a Toro. How how big is it? 21 inch. Yeah, I think so. I'm just guessing over that. Single stage, I'm telling you, man, around here, single stage snowblowers go twice as fast as a uh, two stage because you're not limited to the self propel. You know what I'm saying? I like it. All right, race is on. Race is on. Nice to meet you guys. What's up Stripe Nation? Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. Uh, they actually did beat me. Uh, super nice meeting them. They did They did beat me. They were in the truck before me. Uh, let's take a look. Mine looks pretty clean with the snow plow. Theirs is pretty clean. But they won on the race. They won on speed because I had to get out. I had to shovel the front porch and everything like that. But... I think I got them a little bit. They have a little bit of a film still. I, I do too, but I know if I had the broom, I would definitely beat them because it would get right. Well, I have the broom with me. It's just not on. I was trying to test out the snow plow. Um, I think I like the broom better. The broom is dope. I mean, it literally cleans the driveway, but I'm trying to get used to the snow plow right now. Um, guys, making connection it's freaking cold out here and we're still making connections they're making connections um that right there is what it's about they're hustling those guys are probably gonna make i don't know i don't know a grand 1500 bucks today that ain't bad dude hustling hustling in high school that was me baby i love Seeing that, I'm glad they watch my channel. That right there motivates the crap out of me because that was me. That was me. I remember, and I'm not saying this is them. I'm just saying I remember personally when like, I was in high school and to buy a $1,000 snowblower was huge. You know, and then we get a snowstorm like this and I go make all my money back. Um, I love it. I love it. I hope you guys like seeing stuff like that. I was joking with them about the racing, um, but we just swapped contact information. And I, I, you know, listen, we get so many calls. We, I can't take on all the calls. So I feel like I'm a really good person to know if you're in my area because I can shoot you as much business as you possibly want and need. And I will always need help sometimes, so it's always good to have connections. Don't be afraid to go say hi to people. That's what they just did to me. Um, you know, even though they thought I was Brian's on maintenance. That'd be, that's dope. I, I felt famous for like three seconds as if I was Brian's on maintenance. But I'm just little Blake B&B Lawn Care here. Hope you guys enjoy the video. 
Uh, we'll be using the Toro Multi Force, the Boss Snow Plow, and I think eh, I'm probably going to throw on the broom again uh, and try that out some more. So enjoy the video, guys. I'm trying to drink a ton of water lately and uh, not good for snow removal because I don't have an enclosed trailer. Normally, like when we're mowing, you just pee in the enclosed trailer. Luckily, the driveway that I'm going to do, uh, I had to cross by my parents' new house and they have a porta potty. <laughs> it's actually not too cold. I think my biggest fear in life is being in there while the machines lifts it up to clean it and you get all that gross. That's a gross one. That's a gross one. <sighs> I really hope nobody saw. I'm trying to pick up some of these houses here in this neighborhood. Look at this house. This thing, it looks like that from every angle. The backyard looks even bigger. It's ridiculous dude it's ridiculous i don't know i want to do it just because they're building like a whole new area up here and like that house is on the corner everybody looks at it um it'd be a really really good account to have anyways i don't really think he cares if i'm in a porta potty or not but you know you always got to keep your image up but i had to go to the bathroom man what are you gonna do I had to take off, I had the, a neck thing on, my hat, I'm like burning up. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that driveway, they had been driving on it. They have like trucks and uh, SUVs, so they just run over it. Really icy, it's cooled down a ton today, so all that water, uh, all the rain that we got is just freezing up, man. So, it's getting pretty slick pulling this trailer, man. I got a lot of weight on here. The Raptors, like, I've, I've been slipping and sliding a little bit here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um, the Multiforce is a beast. Like, it's literally a beast. That brush is the most impressive piece of equipment that I've used. Because you can go from a snowy driveway to pavement and it's really fun to use listen i know these are like big investments but if you're at a point where you're like hey i think i could use some of the attachments on the multi-force you know the multi-force isn't that much more expensive than like a grandstand right so if you're thinking that you're gonna use some of those attachments go ahead and buy the multi-force you know, like I said, you're just gonna invest like a couple thousand dollars more, and then you can add attachments slowly, you know, over time as you need them and as you can afford them. I, I use the brush today more than the snowplow. Um, the snowplow worked really fast, really well, um, but there was still some sort of film where that brush just goes right down to the pavement. It is so impressive. So that's it. I love the light kits. I'm super glad that I have those on there because man, people are a little sketchy when it snows with their driving, man. Like, I'm glad I had some flashing lights. Like, hey, you know, maybe I I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention. Well, I'm trying to pay attention, but like, I'm not, j just watch out for me, okay? If I, if I go out into the street, watch out for me. Here's some flashing lights that we're not moving quickly i'm not necessarily paying attention to the cars because i'm trying to do you know remove the snow right crazy i went out this morning and the streets weren't you know in in good shape you know they were a little rough a little icy 
Um, I was slipping and sliding. And you see all these cars, you know, they're stuck. They're sliding. They've wrecked. I mean, I drove by, I probably, I don't know, a five, I don't, I didn't even drive five miles, you know, it was like, go to get the trailer, come back to my house, and then to the yards, and I probably saw 10 cars this morning, and it's just like, dude, hey, nothing is that important, if you have a, a two-wheel drive car, or whatever, like, or you're just not a very good driver, don't get out in it. Don't don't get out in it. There's no reason. Take the little snow day. Going to one of my properties, I drove by um, like High V, the grocery store. It's packed. It's packed. If I didn't if I didn't have to go do this, I would have uh, I would have stayed home. Made made a pizza and some cookies and watched movies all day or something. Hung out with the family. It's Saturday. Um. I I don't know, man. They should have went to the store yesterday. Or something like whatever like I don't want to wreck my car no matter insurance or not to deal with that today it's just not something I want to do so don't get out in it be safe out there that's all I'm saying I'm not hating on anybody but uh, every snowstorm I've ever seen you know we're the first ones out us lawn care and snow removal guys I always see the little uh, 1994 Nissan out getting somewhere at whatever time in the morning before the streets are plowed and see her uh, fly off into the uh, whatever they call this. Not the, like this is the median, but fly off the road. Or turn their hazards on because they, they're getting stuck. It's just... Or plow through a mailbox. That's the best. Because nobody gets hurt, but it's also kind of... I don't know. It's not funny, but... It's just so dramatic when a mailbox just flies. I don't know. I'm tired, if you can't tell. I'm heading back. Um, I got all my driveways done. Uh, I've been getting tons of phone calls. Haven't I mean I've been out, man. It's freaking cold out. I'm not gonna answer the phone while I'm out. Um, so I'm gonna go answer some phone calls. I'm sure I'll be out again tomorrow. Uh, really successful little snowstorm here in Kansas City. This might be all we get. I don't know. Um, it's just so wacky weather. We had an absolutely beautiful December, um, 60, 70 degree days. Um, January's it hasn't been bad we've had a couple weeks that were freezing um, we've had two snows and this one was a really really good one so no complaints here January's uh, uh, you know gonna wrap up here shortly and uh, we'll see what February and March brings but I I like snow I, hey I'm good with a couple more but I'm ready for spring uh, 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 hey I'm gonna relax a little bit more, sleep in a couple more, a couple more weeks, and uh, and I'll be recharged and refueled, ready to start killing it again in the spring. So, hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna get back to driving and get my day finished up and go hang out with the family. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.